Hey, what's up, everybody, man? This is your boy, Charles Young, also known as Open Thoughts. And I'm here with a special guest on the Unperfect Perfect Chronicles. A first special guest, Lamar Mitchell. Good to see you. Man, nice to see you, man. Nice, nice to see, see you, brother. So, man, tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh, man, um, pretty much, man, uh, I hail out of Chicago. Chicago native, uh, south side, man. I've been out here since about 94, I believe, man. Um, you know, just, uh, you know, father of four, um, you know, dad. So, uh, of course, uh, I'm a comedian, um, a counselor. I can cut hair. I can do all kinds of stuff with seeds. Just, just a bunch of seeds. <laughs> cut hair, watch kids, uh, or children, or whatever. Or everything with a seed. Everything with a seed. Comedy, comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we don't got Crips in Chicago, so I, ain't, you know, I still adopt that that Chicago native. I was young, man. Chicago, you know, okay. things start off real young. So, you know. okay. So how did? How, Cause I met you through comedy. How did you get into comedy? Um. Well, as as far as like comedy, like stand up, you know what I mean. Um, it was something that I've always wanted to do. Um, I think I've had some encouragement al along the way as far as that, you know what I mean, people telling me, you know, I'm funny or whatever. And, um, you know, I had a, a friend I used to work with, um, he's actually a comedian on the scene too. Um, he uh, was like, man, you should try it one day. So, you know, because we used to crack a, or cut up in meetings and stuff, you know. Um, and probably 10 years passed or whatever, and I finally uh got out there man um yeah it was it was kind of cool it was kind of ironic too you know how how it all came about too but that's pretty much how i did it how did you feel that first time because I, I remember man when the first time i went up there on that stage mm -hmm. man i didn't i didn't hear nothing i was practicing for maybe about two three weeks and i was practicing i got on that stage and I didn't hear nothing, I didn't see nothing, and mm -hmm. once I got off the stage, somebody was like, oh man, you got some laughs, or you got some, and I, I was like, I, I didn't know what happened, but I yeah. was, it, it started that itch, it didn't stay long, but I mean, I had the itch, how did you feel when you first got mm -hmm. to do that? Um, you know what, it was cool, it, it, it was um, really more or less getting on the stage for the first time that, that really had me, you know what I mean, um, I was at the lighthouse one time and and I was um you know on one side of the room and then I went to the other and I was like man they just need to get some open mic comedy <laughs> over here and then I went to the other room and it was a sign that said open mic comedy night and I'm like oh snap so um the, I was talking to the person that's like yeah they have it you know I think it was Mondays or something like that so I ended up going and I was there, you know, there's comedians up there or whatever, and, um, you know, I was on my Facebook page like, man, asking people, should I do it, you know what I mean, and everybody was like, man, just do it, just do it, and it was a lot of people that was like, you know, just do it, so I just got up there and did it, so that fear um, of doing it was more or less getting up there as opposed to being up there, you know what I mean, if that makes any sense, so when you up there and and if you feeling good you know what i mean i think that man it's always rewarding you always going you know get something good out of it you know what i mean so okay man so so I, i'm kind of i'm listening to how you you know you you got up there you got to do your thing now you said you're a counselor now how does how does that play into your everyday life that's kind of something I'm very interested in. My mom, she's actually going for her master's in psychology, yeah. and she's been doing some counseling things as well. How does that play out for you? Well, um, substance abuse counselor, that's what I do. Um, the, the thing about that is um, you interact with a lot of different people, you know what I mean? Um, you trying to help them to feel better about themselves and work through some of the situations in their life. You know what I mean? So in comedy, you know, it's almost the same thing. You know what I mean? You're going to encounter people, um, different people, different walks of nature, people that might be struggling, um, people that might not have had the greatest day. You know what I mean? And as a comedian, it's your job to get up there and uh, kind of enhance that day, make them feel good about their day, make, you know, them kind of escape, you know what I mean, in a, in a positive light as opposed to, you know, 
resort into some other things, and then you come to see me. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I mean, I'm always looking, and for me personally, man, when I was going through my situations, um, I was my substance of choice would be food, mm -hmm. and I was terrible. You know, I'm, I was a terrible person, and I had to have like five double cheeseburgers. Mm -hmm. I had to have the biggest meals and the biggest macs. Uh, um, and that stuff, man, was tearing me down. Every time I felt depressed, every time I felt healthy, I ran to food, and that was my thing. And and everybody said, oh, you shouldn't worry about your health because you don't look like you gained anything. You look like you need to have six double cheeseburgers, and that really didn't, you know, that really didn't be beneficial for me. Yeah, and, and that's the thing about it, man. The substance um, is the thing that drives a person it doesn't necessarily have to be a drug and like you said in your case you know eating unhealthy um when you're not feeling good people have their different vices you know what i mean to kind of cope with getting through those things and a lot of people do you know resort to to drugs um for that um like me my it's my disclaimer man it's it's uh you know people use drugs to escape their feelings but no there's no hero in heroin just because it's spelled that way. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, we all pick up different um, things along the way um, that might be something passed down. Um, we we uh, tend to, you know, problem solve by ways that we might have seen our parents problem solving. You know what I mean? And it might not have been the best way of doing things. You know what I mean? So we develop all of this, this different stuff. Like my thing was... Um, you know, a couple relationships that I was in, you know what I mean? Um, um, actually, one relationship, I don't think the first one was all that that, um, that bad, getting over it. Um, but, I mean, whatever, you know what I mean? You you have, you know, different things, and you you, you, you go back and you resort back to those things, and you, and you hope that it's going to be a different outcome. Um, just like drugs, people slip back into relapsing and, you know, thinking that, you know, it's going to be different this time around. And, you know, that might not be the case. You have to completely move on from things. So, you know, um, it's hard sometimes, you know what I mean? If it's something that, that you love, something that drives you, something that, you know, made you feel good at some point, um, you know. So when you think about that, you know, you know, and things aren't too far are from each other, you know what I mean, in a sense.